Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Lauren. Welcome back to my channel. I want to give a shout out and welcome to any of my old and my new subscribers. This is just going to be a hopefully brief update on the health status of my mother-in-law. I'm going to try to get through it without crying and um, I want to keep it quick because I don't want to say anything that oversteps my, you know, like where I stand in the family since Matt and I are, you know, not married. I'm just the girlfriend and he always laughs at me because I say, you know, my mother-in-law and then I refer to him as my boyfriend and um, that's kind of funny. But so, okay, so as some of you know, if you're new to my channel, you might not know. My mother-in-law was in the hospital for about the past month and she was diagnosed with bladder cancer after after like six months of hospital tests for a whole bunch of other things they finally figured out that she had cancer and so she was in the cancer unit of a really good local hospital and they did what they could do they said chemo would kill her they did end up doing some radiation and she had six blood transfusions in about a week because one of her kidneys went to hell and so then we got her home once we, you know, the hospital was like, there's nothing else we can do for her. So we set up with hospice. And then we also hired two caretakers to come in for morning and night shifts. And that lasted all of a week. And from, sorry. So from the past week, um, basically I announced my giveaway winners. And I said, you know, give me a week to get your packages put together, etc. And then that week turned into the next week where we were basically told, like, get here now, you know, not knowing if she was going to last the next few hours. So for the past seven days, we've been living in and out of the house, coming and going. Some of you are aware that our refrigerator broke down and we were completely unaware of it. So we had to throw away a lot of food because it went bad and um, we had to let our landlords know that we had to get a new fridge and they gracefully got us one and it was delivered last Thursday it was in my last video so I guess to, to kind of give you the quick real deal um, as of last night she's still alive as of right now she's still alive her favorite movie was on TV the day before yesterday, out of Africa, of all movies, because it's like a thousand hours long. And she said she could see the TV and she wanted it on, but she's kind of been in a medical coma, like a medication coma. So like her, her eyes are open, but she's sleeping. And um, you can tell that there's fluid developing in her lungs. You can hear the gurgling. Her good kidney um, just started to go about two days ago as well. We drained her bladder bag. She has a bag on each side. She's got tubes coming out her back. And the, the bad kidney was finally like looking like it was free of blood clots and it was also producing urine. And then we changed her bags and literally within like 10 minutes after, the good kidney was, you know, like blood. The color, darker than the color of my shirt. And um, so, so now both of her kidneys are pretty much done. Uh, she's getting medication every two hours and also anti-anxiety every four hours. And it's really not for the benefit of keeping her alive. It's just to help her relax enough to hopefully um, find a way to go in peace. We had all the family members, all the local family members were over. A priest came over and did her, um, whatever the religious term is called, where you do like the last prayer um, the other day. Every family member that is nearby was there. We've been there like 24 hours for two days straight. I took off work one day. I went to work yesterday. Um, and I have a class tonight and then I will be going to the house afterwards. The other night when I left, she, you know, has just been in a state of mind that, you know, she can hear us, I guess, she can't see us, and I, I left at about 
midnight because I had to be at work in the morning so I wanted to get some sleep and I said mom I'm leaving I'll see you tomorrow and she said okay and that made me cry immediately but it made my day because you know I knew that if she did pass it wasn't her fault but um, it made me feel like she was gonna be there tomorrow which was yesterday and she was um, but you know just her general appearance is you know her face is getting like sunken in her eyes are getting sunken in her arms are just looking thin and um, we were told again it's just a matter of hours slash days so it's it's very terrifying to leave and not know if if it's gonna you know I don't I would like to be there but with my schedule I might not be able to and obviously I have my 11 year old and Paige Paige has been over there and has said her hellos and goodbyes too but at the same time it, you know we're the distantest of the family you know yes we are family his family loves me they love Paige but at the same time we're not the blood relatives or the immediate relatives so for for Paige it's a little more awkward but she does get along with you know the, the kids and any of the kids in the family whether they're younger or a little bit older than her I just want to say that for anybody because I know some of you have shared stories with me for anybody who's gone through this whether it was your parent your sibling your cousin your child Cancer is by far the ugliest thing that I have ever seen in my life. And I do get to see the other side of it because my mom has gone through so many cancers and surgeries and she's in remission. And granted her health isn't fantabulous, she's also 73, so she's got 10 years younger than Matt's mom, but it's just like, my mom is functioning and Matt's mom is dying and I just <sighs> I'm sorry um where was I I just I can't believe how ugly of an illness this is and I can't believe that children have to live like this or that anybody has to live like this it's just terrible and um, I don't know what else to tell you <laughs> There's nothing, she has a do not resuscitate, so when it happens, it happens. Um, I whispered in her ear if she could please tell my grandma hello, and that I'm sorry that I wasn't there for her because that's been weighing on me for 12 years. Um, but she said she saw her husband, she seen her mother, and she's spoken to everybody so what I'm not sure what she's waiting for for her to let go but I hope that she does it soon so that she can just stop suffering I know that the road is coming to an end but then it opens up all these other roads that we have to deal with which that's you know doesn't even that's so irrelevant right now but it's that's that is my update she is dying and it's going to be very soon so thanks guys for being there with me and um i want to thank those that i know that you've been praying thank you um and again for any of you that are going through this my thoughts are with you because this is so ugly and so hard so thank you guys so much whatever time of day it is morning noon or night i certainly hope you're having a good one and i will hopefully have some more diving videos. I've, I've been feeling crafty again, so you might even see a resin update from me soon. But thanks to my YouTube family for being there for me so much. And if you feel like finding me on social media, you can look at some of my diving photos if I fail to put them on video on my Instagram, which is in your tweens with a Z, dreams with an S. Thanks.